Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I created this channel in the hopes of becoming the mentor I wish I had when I started my journey in digital marketing. So in today's video, I wanted to show you what my resume looked like when I got my first digital marketing job. I was able to get my first digital marketing job within two weeks of applying to jobs. So I wanted to show you what my resume looked like. So I first wanted to go over the importance of having your contact information. So on top, I have my LinkedIn. I also had my phone number here that is erased out. I have my email and my full name. To the left, I have my certifications. So I took Google AdWords Fundamentals, Google AdWords Search, and Google Analytics Individual Assessment. I really advise for you all to take your certifications and put these on your resume as well. This is great, especially if you're looking for a paid search Google Ads position. Next, I have my skills. So I talked about, so here I talk about how I have experience with PPC. So SEM is similar, search engine marketing. SEO, search engine optimization. I have experience with keyword research, landing page optimization, A-B split testing, building WordPress websites, using Excel, including VLOOKUP and pivot tables. These are the most important Excel skills for a paid search specialist. Using Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and HTML. I've also included some soft skills. So technical skills are on top, and then I included soft skills, which are people skills that are included that are really useful with working in teams, especially in digital marketing. So this includes creative problem solving, being extremely detail oriented, excellent organization skills, and excellent written and verbal communication. Next, education is optional, but I but if you do have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, don't forget to add that in as well. It does not hurt. But, you know, every single digital marketing job I've had, no one ever asked me about my education. I do not have a degree in marketing or even related to business. My degree was in biology and teaching. And it did not hurt my chances of getting any of my digital marketing jobs. Next is the most important section, which is experience. So for me, I put, I was a digital marketing specialist, freelance, meaning I worked for myself. And I was hired in August, 2019. So I was only working in a freelance role for one month. And they were aware that I only have one month of experience and they still hired me. And so what did I put underneath here? So in my previous video, I talked about how important it is to generate your own experience with your own website. So what I did was I set up um, a fully functional WordPress website and I created Google ads and Facebook ads and I ran ads to that website. So then I wrote that I managed and optimized Google AdWords accounts. Um, this includes implementing proper account structure, reduced cost per click, increased relevant traffic through keyword research, and conducted A-B split testing. So that is all um, tasks that you would probably perform when you're in an entry-level digital marketing role. I also um, built a Google Analytics account, and I just tested out and looked through the platform to assess visitor behavior and you know maybe made some adjustments and then I used SEO Yoast um, to try to um, optimize my WordPress for 
my WordPress site for SEO. So this include adding title tags, site architecture, content, internal linking. And with SEO Yoast, they actually tell you exactly what you need to do. For example, if you don't have enough keywords um, in your blog, then they will tell you to you know, add more keywords. If you're using too much of a passive voice, they will tell you to use an active voice. If they're saying that you don't have enough transition words, such as first, second, third, next, and finally, which makes it easier for the reader to use, then you know they will tell you exactly what you need to add. So SEO Yoast is a great WordPress plugin. And then I also um, used MailChimp and created um, an email account. So all of these are just really basic things that you can Google and read about online and just follow the instructions. Next, I also talked about experience that I had before I went into digital marketing. So I was an elementary school teacher. Even though this has no direct you know, relation, I just added it in just so they know that I wasn't doing that I was actually doing something before digital marketing. And, you know, there isn't any reason for you to put some description here if it does not relate. So all I did was just put the title, um, the company, and then the timeline that I was there. So I hope you found this really helpful. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. You can drop it in the comment below. And please let me know if there are any future videos that you would like me to talk about in regards to digital marketing.